Thunderball, 1965, the fourth installment in the James Bond film series, is often considered one of the more forgettable entries in the franchise. Directed by Terence Young, the film stars Sean Connery as the iconic British spy, James Bond. Despite its lukewarm reception among critics and audiences compared to other Bond films, Thunderball still contains elements typical of the series, including action-packed sequences, exotic locales, and a suave performance by Connery. The plot revolves around Bond's mission to recover two stolen nuclear warheads, which have been hijacked by the sinister organization Spectre. Along the way, Bond encounters the seductive Fiona Volpe, played by Luciana Paluzzi, and faces off against the villainous Emilio Largo, portrayed by Adolfo Kelly. The film features underwater sequences, innovative for its time but criticized for their slow pacing and lack of tension. While Thunderball boasts impressive production values and stylish cinematography, it suffers from a formulaic plot and pacing issues. The film's runtime exceeds two hours, and some critics argue that it feels bloated, with unnecessary scenes detracting from the overall experience. Despite these criticisms, Thunderball remains a significant entry in the Bond franchise, contributing to the enduring popularity of the series. It features memorable moments, such as the iconic jetpack scene, and showcases Connery's charisma in the role of Bond. However, it ultimately fails to leave a lasting impression compared to other Bond classics like Goldfinger or Casino Royale. In conclusion, while Thunderball offers entertaining moments and showcases the charm of Sean Connery as James Bond, it lacks the innovation and excitement that define the best films in the franchise. It remains a passable entry in the series but is unlikely to be remembered as fondly as its more celebrated counterparts.